I'm Stephen Ladd. And I'm William Ladd. And we're out here at the Corning Museum working with the Glass Lab for the third time. Uh, we're brothers and have been collaborating for the last 11 years. We're from St. Louis, Missouri. And today we're working on the battle between two ant colonies. My brother Stephen and I make these handmade boxes that stack into towers. And those towers open up and contain landscapes. And the landscape we're working on this time is an ant war between these small brass ants and a series of glass ants that we're working on with the glass lab right now. So this is a scroll structure and it's made out of old belt trimmings. So this old belt and buckle factory donated thousands and thousands of old belts to us. We're really fascinated with ant infestations and it seems throughout our whole life there's always been some sort of ant infestation going on. And so the narrative that kind of goes along with that is like these ants are always consistently taking over our lives when we're making the glass ants, we're penetrating the glass ants with these like daggers and arrows and shrapnel. So our ants are winning, essentially. I think that the brass ants are winning right now only because we're taking all of the trinkets and sticking it into the glass ants. These uh, flames and explosions and swirling clouds sort of take over the landscape in this glass formation. And throughout the glass formations, we have all of these old uh, findings and metal trinkets that we also got out of the belt factory. So all of those trinkets are just swirling around in this cloud and in these flames. This experiment of working with glass is really exciting because they're showing us new techniques that we've never used before. So these are the flames and everything, and you can see all of the different particles and miscellaneous uh, trinkets and stuff like that that have changed colors and burned and are embedded in the flames. So right now we're working on making all these wisps of smoke and we were really interested in this technique that they were using of spinning the glass in a bucket to create all this bubble in the glass. So we wanted little tiny trees to be placed throughout the landscape, uh, already charred and burned as if they had been already engulfed in the flames. They'll take the glass and they'll start cutting it on top and then they'll pull those cut marks and it creates these really beautiful branches. So it's creating this effect that the fire has already kind of ravaged the whole forest and they've just left these trees uh, that'll be all filling out the landscape in the boxes. It was amazing. Loads of fun. Hot glass fun, baby. Hot glass fun. Gotta be careful. Don't touch it. <laughs>